Files. Press start to begin. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. We are back with more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I am your host, John Moogie Ward Jam. Joined as always by my co-host, Jap Peanut. Hey! And Rich Wimmers in 767. Yay! So, a lot has passed since we, uh... Uh, since we last played Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, and both in the game and in real life. Let's just leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Oh my word. But we're still in the middle of an investigation here. Um, we found the kid that was breaking into uh, the studio and taking pictures, and uh, he went through the grate and crawled through like a little goblin. Now I gotta find his ass. No fucking gremlin. Huh? Where's that old windbag? I don't to leave her post. Hi. Oh my god, I, was, I forgot what the voice she did for it was for a minute. Nick, that's her! <laughs> so stop, Ripper Snapper! E yeah, it sounds like she's chasing after the boy. What? Uh oh, she tripped! My sure looks happy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Old lady fall down is funny. <laughs> oh, this is the new studio area we haven't been to yet. Oh, no, we should uh, examine a few things. Incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. Hmm, they just put it in, eh? Hmm. Oh, there's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. And look, it's bent. Mm -hmm. It's bent. The trailer door, it's locked. Key's probably in the security guard station. I doubt they let us borrow it. Now you'd be right on that one. No clothes here. There's a big two painted here. Probably because it's a studio two? Probably. Nah, because it's a gigantic number two. No, <laughs> no it doesn't look anything like a studio. <laughs> <laughs> number one or number two, sir? Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too? What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. You mean like that the plates are just left out in the open? Well, it is a crime. It is a technically a crime scene still, so not really. There's the fan. A light fan for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it's run, it'd run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license. But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? To compensate for the fact that I can't drive? Austin, I don't think you have any room to make one of them here. <laughs> I mean, I can relate. Uh-oh. October 8th, Teen Studio 1. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. Ah. Oh, one second. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, didn't they say the keys in that little security? I seriously doubt we'll be able to pick it up. Hey, hey, Nick! Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh! This is it, Nick. The key. The trailer key. Key that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Yeah, I'll, yes, Maya, I'll give it to you. The, you should hold on to it as you are the master of unlocking. Yeah, see what happens to you when you listen to your good friend, Austin. 
Austin, you have paid so much karmic retribution for that phrase. I think you should retire from saying it ever again. <laughs> you got the key now. You probably have a police officer on the call out here. Hell, recently you just paid your karmic retribution for it. You gonna press the button anytime soon? <laughs> yes, he did. He fucking did. <laughs> If you know what we're talking about, go watch episode two of our more recent Mario Party play uh, Superstars playthrough. I won't hit the kiwi bar from the guard station will work. It opens! Great! Let's go, Nick! She seems eager all of a sudden. Where are you first, Nick? Ah, uh, not that eager. October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Oh. Oh, damn. Eek! S someone's in here. Names. Uh, 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 names? Um, well, WP's lawyers and, um... I see. And who might you? Defusks. No. Uh, no. No. It's Vasquez. Defasquez. <laughs> the producer. Man, you're bad at pronouncing Japanese and Spanish. And English sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. D Vasquez. She's quite beautiful. D. Vasquez. Day of the crime. I was wondering if you could tell me the day of the murder. She's too Sorry. busy smoking a pipe. Just taking a hit of crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> She's a studio bigwig. That wouldn't shock me in the slightest. Sklit. Uh, excuse me? Sklit. I am looking for Sklit. Austin, she's Spanish. Why are you giving her a Russian accent? I thought I thought it was French. Yeah. No, French. French. She's Spanish. <laughs> she's <laughs> Spanish. You idiots. Don't you wait? What, actually, cinnamon. wait. She could be Spa from Spain. Right. I, that's why Episode I said Hispanic. 13. <laughs> I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? Do you have an appointment? I need to read it. What? Well, we're getting nowhere fast. Mm-mm. Um, so I'm pretty- she will not talk to us unless we find that. Okay, we just gotta look around, I guess. No, I think I know where it is. Oh? Yeah, there it is. Hey, uh Hey, oh, Austin. Hey. Yeah? What do what does tofu and a dildo have in common? Hey, look, that's a chair the director <laughs> sits in. Saved by I the text. No, answer the question. It's what a, do they have in common? They're both meat substitutes. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey Dick. Take a look at that. <laughs> Oh, those black and white boards, they clap at the start of filming. And hey, look, a megaphone, a real life megaphone. Ready, Nick, action. This girl is more troubled than I thought. Wait, is that not? Oh, wait, okay. um. That's, that, I don't think that's it. Hang on, you, the, uh. Move no, up a little bit. it's not, it's, if it's not in here. Hmm. Hey, Austin. What? Did you know they wrote a book about walking upstairs? It's did a step-by-step -step guide! Yeah, did you notice that uh, the icon changed and moved to the right a little bit? Yeah, no, the right, that's... That's for reflecting light. They call it reflecting screen, uh. something like that. Huh? What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lightning is, lightning is fine, but I don't want to be a director, or maybe the Steel Samurai. I think she's being serious. Okay. 
the only other place the, guys... the only other place I thought it would be would be um the studio, but I guess not. <laughs> uh, the, what does the guide say? I'm looking for it. <laughs> What's got y'all giggly, Rich? <laughs> from a Reddit, <laughs> from a Reddit, uh, uh, Reddit thread, someone posted, "Why is the achievement for crafting a cake called the lie?" And someone replied, "I just felt my body mummify." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would too. All right, so you have to, uh, you have to finish talking to her, and then you get a, a memo from her. So, um. We'd like to ask you about the Sea of Samurai. Finally, some music 10 minutes into the episode. <laughs> I love the Steel Samurai theme. Miss Vasquez? Ah, this is some good shit right here. <coughs> it's on TV every week. That's all I had to say about that. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV. The never her. Hey, don't get mad at me. Uh, about the director, Salmonello, was it? Oh, God. What uh, exactly <laughs> is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. Rich burping I'm... when she blew the smoke was perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm looking for a split. I can't be bothered with anything else. Especially when I'm getting my hit. <laughs> Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? Oh, you should see the guy who runs Warner Brothers Discovery now. He's worse. <laughs> he sent the whole company on fire, literally. It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Yeah. Right. Uh, yes. If you see Manila, give him this. A sanitizing wipe? Why do we have to do your errands? Don't puff your cheeks at me, no matter how adorable it is. That's the type of puff I had in mind. I... I don't think I like her. <laughs> don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright, we'll give it to him as we see him. Vasquez's memo added to the court record. Memo reads, bring me the script for episode 13. <coughs> Alright, where is Okay, Ms. now we just gotta find that creep again. And remember, guys, you can always trust Danny DeVito because he'll always be frank with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're lucky Danny DeVito is an incredibly lovable person, Rich. I know. Oh God, John, this uh, this Sesame Street meme hits diff hits differently. <laughs> oh, oh, this I gotta see. I'm gonna put this in the chat because oh. I don't. Th I just so you you can read it to yourself. It's a bit raunchy. Oh, oh no, it can't be any worse than that uh, coming Omigo chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you saw that, Rich? Yes, that, I shared it with you. No, uh, I that, shared it. Then I started. No, you shared it with me. Then I started sharing it with him. Oh damn! Oh, no. I got some free. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got it's a, it's a pickle. <laughs> All oh, right, it's in oh, the no. chat, Austin. Oh dear. Emma, okay, it's uh, Emma and a guest star dressed as elephants for the text. Emma isn't really into bestiality. No, wait, oh wait, that's in. Oh. Emma isn't really into bestiality or warplay, but he's ready to do anything if it means sticking his trunk down that he put and throw. No, Elmo! 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 <laughs> Well, at least it's with an actual adult this time. Um, yes, at least it's with an actual adult. Or like the previous guy who puppeteered for Elmo. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Who was who was the director? The, the direct the director <coughs> was Steve Vasquez. This is the 
Oh, you mean who voiced him? Rich, I'm pretty sure yeah. that was you. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'll give it a shot. Here, I got this from the producer. What? Bring me the script for episode 13. Yeah, Rich, that was the voice you did. <laughs> episode 13. Where did I put that one? It's basically your Mr. Higsby voice on Battle Network. Yes, yes. I must have left it somewhere, Sweats. <laughs> uh, uh oh, my ass is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this game shows the stage. I just felt my body mummify. <laughs> <laughs> Shakes. <laughs> Though this was released in America in like 2004. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta spun up this slip out. Nick. It might be good to just look at all the places where he's likely to have been. Then you can examine the script in the chair after this. I agree. Okay, back to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me, you'll get more chance. You'll get more chances to voice him again. I'm pretty sure he's going to be at the, tr the trial. We're back at the scene of the crime. It's fine when we need to get out of here quick, Nick. No, notice that she says that now? Mm hmm Then you examine the script. Yeah, finally. Hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. I always wanted to say one of these. Director? Maya. Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he left it somewhere? Found it, Nick, the script! Oh, that better be on, like, uh... That better be, like, textured paper and not, like, covered in grease. <laughs> oh, God. Good With work. how much he sweats, I'm guessing it's a ladder. Please, <laughs> please be, like, marbled texture cardstock or something. I'm begging you, Capcom. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, no, it, it's it smells like it smells like hairy armpits and uh, shame. Smells <laughs> 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 like someone just covered it with a bunch of bags body spray to hide the sweaty smell. No, Austin, that somehow be even worse. <laughs> it, it, smel it I, smells like it like a comic book and board game store. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Imagine yeah, the, the imagine somebody that typed that would won't let you in until attention. you... <laughs> attention, Yu-Gi-Oh! players! You must all wear deodorant at the start of the next round. Like, specifically, it smells like the type of comic book spot, so that won't show you unless you answer a bunch of random quiz questions. <laughs> That's a real thin some, uh, comic book store did, by the way. <laughs> If Call of Duty you wish to see, you must answer me these riddles three. <laughs> <laughs> Here, we found your script. Ah. <laughs> script handed to Defazgas. Um. Ah. Uh... Don't interrupt my good buzz. You're not gonna talk to us? Quiet. I must smell this dirty stench in I'm, the script. I'm <laughs> really Maybe that's why she's doing up so she doesn't have to smell him anymore. <laughs> Just hold on, you. What's the big deal? I can't. I get a good high unless. As I mix the smell of crystal meth with human odor. <laughs> <laughs> who do you, who do you think you are anyway? And and you even know who we are? My child, I'm perverted. <laughs> <laughs> Powers lawyers? Yeah, she's been paying attention. She just wants you to leave her to the fuck alone. Uh, uh, right. Am I a suspect? No, Bitch, it's you might just... be. <laughs> well, no, but <sighs> you wanted to know about the day of the murder. Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. 
none of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The, the path? The statue was on the ground, yeah, the, wasn't the, it? The giant monkey head. From the, from the windstorm. Yeah, there was a... Yeah, yeah, Rich, that's right. I, I'm actually surprised you remember, so... Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Show the script as fast as The block path. There we go. On the day of the murder, the path of light leads was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, Bam! Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Bam. Oh, right, that. What an original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. It's the, just like what happened to the Kazooie statue at the Rare H, uh, HQ in uh, the UK. Aw, oh, that's sad. They fixed it, I think. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after 3 o'clock. It was after 4 by the time the path was unblocked. That's a short amount of time to move that, wow. Capis? No, Capiche! Capiche! Capiche? <laughs> As in, like, the, 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 the gangsters, they say, Hey, shut your fucking mouth! Capiche! Capiche! Bazano! Gabagool, Capiche! Take a second of my Gabagool! <laughs> oh, that was, uh... That's why cuts it up? Banjo Kazooie! Banjo Kazooie was a well-respected member in this household. End the story. Everyone in this. What do you hear? What do you say? Stuck here until we hear we say. The path was clear. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Oh my God, that was really good. That was dead on. Stuck in this trailer. I think. Stuck here into a bunch of it. Italian I think there's a mob boss character in this franchise, and Rich, you have to do the Marlon Brando for that. <laughs> I think. I'm gonna make him an offering gun of him. I'm gonna die that too. That's that of us could have got this in you. <laughs> what? It's true. It is weird that they drew their mouths all white, but then again, this was a Game Boy Advance game originally, so they had limited detail to work with anyway. That's very true, they did. It's true. Yeah, I, a claim came just after three to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they could corroborate my story. Wait! What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One! 2.30. The time of death. It's also the time when you call your dentist, because tooth hurty. And if it was any 10 minutes later in Ireland, it'd be too farty. <laughs> oh, God. There you will. Come. I just heard, come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What did she say? Oh. oh, sorry. I beg your pardon. Come. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> That's Mr. Monkey. And it is you come to Mr. Monkey. And that's the time in oops. And sometimes at 2.40, sometimes instead of ooking, it goes... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh no, Mr. Monkey! That's why the path was blocked. You have a very it was blocked. moment, Mr. Monkey. <laughs> One ook per hour. Ook, ook, ook. Always with the ooking. I <laughs> wouldn't be shocked if- I wouldn't be shocked that she didn't kill Hammer, but she definitely killed the monkey. It is a monkey, after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Yeah, so cause... you could say she spanked the monkey? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's gonna always be one of my favorite memories of the three of us when we're- <laughs> We're starting a Mario Party game, Rich. It's like, hey, spank your monkey! <laughs> Nick, it stopped at 2.15! Mmm! 2.15? 
That's right. The path is blocked from 2.15 till after 2.40. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. See? Goodbye. <laughs> and then she just fucking pieces out. Mr. Monkey's head was out of the court data record. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. I'm thinking for this episode, let's finish off the investigation because we are going to be good. Oh yeah, we're actually really close to that. So let's just keep going until uh, and we'll start the next episode in the trial. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, the, uh, according to the guy, we're like almost there. Okay. Um. Did you main gate? Oh, we're going oh. back to our our office. Mm -hmm. October eighteenth, right in code law offices. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early to keep be giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Ah! Mm. But Mia, it's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait, I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw yeah. him! I saw oh, everything! Okay. <laughs> what? You, what? You guys have enough characters. Let me get another one. Oh, no, why am I talking to you losers? I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help with us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. Yeah, I totally forgot that we have to like interview that kid. Ah! Oh no! I delayed the stage making. <laughs> what's what? what's wrong? What? Are you taking a shit in the middle of the street? That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, usually me after that's me after Jake's Waybacks. <laughs> She's been chasing that boy this whole time. That's me after Papa's chicken. <laughs> When I can kill somebody. Not me, Popeyes actually agrees with me. Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. That's because you always go for the mild. <laughs> hey, get a hostage now, Ripper Snapper! A hostage? Oh, are you going to chop to her? But, no? Okay. Miss Old Bag, I'm borrowing this just so you know. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just be sure to give it back. <laughs> she's not demanding it when she's exhausted. Maybe talk to her? Um, what happened to the boy? Hey, if I see him again, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> My, what a violent old lady. Actually, I met with the director just now. <laughs> My heart. I don't feel so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd, I'd like to visit a place of... Oh, Hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a hostage? <laughs> when the boy was running away, he dropped his head. Ran. <laughs> <laughs> He'll come back. <coughs> 
about this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hustis might be what we need. Cut in my tuxedo if you give him that. Good idea. Miss Oldback, might I? No! <laughs> no! I'm catching up, but if it's the last thing I do! Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? Oh! A trade, huh? Uh, then you give her back the key. Wonder. Ms. Oldbag? I'm borrowing this just so you know. Wait, that's not it? Oh, no? the car key, I'm sorry. Hey, that. <laughs> that's a car. <laughs> Studio One. Right, a car key to Studio One. <laughs> I like to <laughs> He died. <gasps> I was his, his fan. I wish she jacked his hammer into me before he died. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have your own card, Ms. Old Bag? Studio one is a night. <laughs> You'll let me borrow, borrow it then. If I give her the car key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. We don't need it anymore. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Oldbag. Car key lent to Miss Oldbag. Me? Listen to me, Sunny. I don't like having debts to no ripper snappers. You take this and we're even. Deal. Those better be cards and like not, and they better be fungible. <laughs> What's this? A steel samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Yes, I'm like on active to the corner. Right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. Okay. Mm. Back to the studio till we go. Oh wait, where is? Oh, he's back. To... Oh, he's, right, yeah, he's I in the employee area. Go. That's because that's where he broke in originally. Hey! Hey, you! Wait a second. Phoenix. Was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Yep, the dressing room. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you! Ah! Damn it, he's getting away! Come back! There, he's back. How did she? Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please. I'm Cody. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Fay. I'm trying to channel the dude, the Roar Kid from Shrek. <laughs> oh Get it roll. Get it roll. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yo. And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? <laughs> Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not sure, sure I'm qualified. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's, uh, the bomb. Ha! What a labor like you know about the Steel Samurai! Hey, what's that attitude? Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell at me that. that. Don't yell like that, I'm only a kid! Little fucking prick. Do you know anything that ha about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I have no, nothing! Hmm, looks like a little persuasion's necessary. Maybe a bribe? Ah, uh, yeah, this is where you give him the card. A steel samurai card. You tell me what I want to know, or I'm ripping this in half. <laughs> Cody, this look familiar? Hey, where, where you are? 
You are... What? You are! You know, ultra rare? That card's really hard to get! Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb! I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect assuming the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade! Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb! What do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum <laughs> physics? <laughs> Whatever, I need that card. What? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble? <laughs> if you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Yeah, holographic. Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a grab, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to find something and even rarer than. I think Penny has one. If I remember right. Okay, we just gotta find where Penny is. I think she's in Studio 2 now. Because we can't go back to 1. Mm -hmm. Back to the dressing room. Go to the Studio 2 trailer, talk to Penny again. Oh, she's inside. Oh, hi. Hello. What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Like that giant fucking thing of Mountain Dew Baja Blast back there? <laughs> um... Yes? The, um, girl with you, does it seem, seem a little different? Like... well stacked? <laughs> Is she even the same person as before? Uh, nope. She's the same as always. Oh, really? So she's had the same mommy milkers these <laughs> past time? Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast, I thought she collapsed. Wow, so if you really want her dead, you just have the kid uh, run, uh, run from her. Mm hmm. Of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through a cleanse. <laughs> this. <laughs> Back at the guard station. Yeah, I can't breathe. Let me scarf down some donuts and make that even harder for myself. <laughs> some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Are all those posters here on the wall of Hammer? Yes. It's a really terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? You mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Wait, now you have to tell me. What happened with Hammer? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Scandalous much? Do you know anything about this? Hey, that that's a steel samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. I'm one cut away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Hmm. Wait, 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 That's it! That's a good card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it! Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am, I need that card! Huh? Please, I beg you, please trade with me! They made an entire portrait just for the scene! <laughs> yes, they did, yes, they did! They just trade with you? Yes, trade cards! What? <laughs> Look, I even tell you an ultra rare premium card. Aha! Cha-ching! Trade me a... 
Huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please? Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everybody getting so excited about? Trade it. Okay. Really? Thanks. <laughs> then this is for you. <laughs> Erp card. <laughs> Erp. 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 Sounds like. Sounds like derp. <laughs> and and there you. she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Excuse me. It looks like Bobby's been using our credit card on something called Patreon. <laughs> hey, what in God's name is an e-girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, no. What? What uh, in God's name is oh, it? Oh, that if I happen, then I can only imagine the stuff they talk about. <laughs> if Brittany Murphy, well, again, if Brittany Murphy didn't die, I'd, just, I'd fully expect uh, Luann to find out about OnlyFans and then try to start it. <laughs> yeah, they say it's going to be a time skip, though. Yeah, Luann and Lucky, yes. Luann and Lucky are probably just going to be gone. Yeah. Yeah, and and Bucky t and uh, and Bucky or er, yeah, Buckley too. No, Lucky. Not Buckley. Um. Lucky. I, say, I said Luin and Lucky because Tom Petty and Brittany Murphy are dead. Which is a shame because they, ju they just gave birth to a daughter, so they, they could have had her in, I guess. Yeah. Uh, are you really that stupid? Oh, I dare you to say that again! Only this time say, Brock, I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Cody and end the episode. Or do you want to talk okay. to him next time? Uh, oh, it's at that funny minute mark. Oh, yeah, let's, let's talk to him next time. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See ya. Don't rip your cards.